thank you guys, first of all, for coming out on an election night. I know it's hard. The results are unknown. And I encourage you guys, all of you guys, to just take a break from the election results for a couple hours. We're here to uh, listen to stories and watch very lively speakers tell us all sorts of different stories around the theme of unknown. And before we get started, uh, I'd like to ask, who, who's new? Who's here for the first time tonight? Yay! And who's here been here many, many times? Yay! Excellent. So, let me start by explaining a little bit about how this, how this works. Tonight, we will be sharing with you guys six, six short stories inspired by the odd corners of history, science, art, and adventure. Thank you. We will have three talks, then there will be a short intermission during which you can mingle and refresh your drink and so on, and then we'll come back and have three more talks. Our speakers are both experts and enthusiastic amateurs. Some of them have studied what they're gonna talk about and some of them have not even heard about it until about three weeks ago. So, please be generous with your applause. We like noise around here. This is not a quiet event, um, and in fact, we have some regular callbacks, and uh, regulars, help me out here. Yes! Science. Thank you. And tonight's special word is? Unknown. What is this? We don't know. Questions. We have questions about the unknown. So many questions, right? And so you're welcome to give those callbacks when you see a ship or something about science or someone says the word question. If you have other things to add, you're welcome to do that too. <laughs> if you really need to heckle a speaker, find them at intermission. And we're always happy when people give us more information about what we've been learning about. Uh, but when they're on stage, yeah, shout at them a little bit. It's fine. Um, this is a participatory project by design, and in fact, our stage is, is your stage. We are a community project. Many of us started as audience members. And if you have a story, if something tonight kind of sparks your, your interest or your fancy or reminds you of something, um, or later you get an idea for a cool talk, you can go to oddsalon.com speak, and there will be a button for submitting a pitch. And you can join our email list at oddsalon.com to find out about upcoming themes and uh, brainstorming sessions. We get together once a month and have brainstorming sessions on upcoming themes, which you're welcome to join us for. You do not have to put your phone away tonight, except for don't check on election results. <laughs> you can tweet and you can gram and you can go to all the regular places and share your ideas at all the usual places that are up on the screen behind me. And finally, you might hear us refer to our, uh, our conversation group. It's a Facebook group, something weird. And our speakers will go there after the show and add all the little details that just could not make their way into the talk tonight. In between shows, we put whatever weird stuff we come across. We encourage you guys to put up there whatever weird stuff you come across and join the conversation. But tonight, tonight is about the unknown, and I'm going to talk a little bit before I introduce our speakers. Um, when we talk about the unknown, we have different ideas that come across, and as I started thinking about this, uh, this topic, this theme, all sorts of directions um, came to, to my mind as, as in how I could go in framing the evening. And I didn't know which one to go with, so, so I had unexplored paths and I had space and I had uh, questions and writings and I just, I just didn't know. And so I started thinking about, instead of trying to figure out which sort of version of unknown I want to go to, I found myself thinking about our relationship with the unknown and how it makes us feel. And um, we really want to know. Right? When something is unknown in our society, we want to go and explore it, we want to go and conquer it, we want to go and research it, we want to go and find out. And we have a very strong belief that the truth is out there if we can just get to it. But 
at the same time that, that we fear the unknown, right, and here we are really fearing the unknown, which is what comes after death, we also sometimes have kind of a partial fear of, of knowledge. We're afraid of knowing a little bit, but not too much, because that makes us dangerous, right? We have this idea that we might know just enough about something to make us irresponsible with it, to make us dangerous with it. Um, or perhaps on a more positive note, it was Albert Einstein who said, uh, the more I learn, the more I realize how much I don't know. And so we have this ambivalent sort of relationship with, with the known and the unknown and kind of the balance between them. Uh, we also have the fear of the consequences of attaining knowledge. Here's the tree of, of knowledge uh, behind me and you can see by the illustration of the, the tree of skeleton that there's some messages there about attaining, attaining knowledge. Um, but what if we can't attain the knowledge? What, and this was the question that I finally got to, what if the beauty of it is the fact that it, that it is unknown and maybe, e maybe even unknowable and there's a, there's a beauty in that? And of course, there's a good side to research and it's important to recognize it, but I was really struck by, by the, uh, the beauty of the unknown itself. As for the good of research, we have all kinds of things in our society. Um, there's the power that comes from knowledge the idea that knowledge is in fact power, as said by Francis Bacon, the idea that one must know ourselves. That was the motto, know thyself, that that's the way to have a good life. Uh, and those things are, are in fact good, but sometimes we just don't know. And we gotta recognize that. And I think there's a certain beauty in that as well, because when we say, I don't know, we're open up to the the potentials and the options and the opportunities that, that saying I don't know brings about. When you say, oh yeah, I know, you're shutting down a conversation, right? But when you say I don't know, you're opening up um, to, get to those possibilities. So tonight, we have six stories of things unknown. And before I hand it over to our lovely speakers, um, I want to do one more thing here at Odd Salon. We close out this opening segment with what we call, uh, with an invocation, where we use the words of another to help us sort of frame the evening. And tonight's invocation is by the writer Kilroy J. Ulster. And he said, the great beauty of life is its mystery the inability to know what course our life will take and diligently work to transmute into our final form based upon a lifetime of constant discovery and enterprising effort. Accepting the unknown and unknowable eliminates regret. I thought that was a pretty good way to start. <laughs> 